Hello children, how are you all? I hope everybody is keeping fine. So children, in today's class, we will learn chapter 10, that is measurement from the semester 2 book. In this chapter, we will learn how to measure the length. So the first topic is measuring length. Now look at this picture. One is Ritika and another one is a boy whose name is Anki. We can see here that Ritika is taller than Anki. And now see the another example. One is pencil and another one is pen. So the pencil is longer than the pen. Okay children, to measure pencil, book, chart or your study table, we can use our hand to measure. That is, you can see in the picture, one is hand span. So with our hand span, we can measure our pencil, pen, books, chart or our study table. And see one more picture is here steps means feet with our feet we can measure the length of our room you can measure your classroom you can measure your study room or your dining room with the help of your steps now let us measure some length you see here Sima is measuring a chart so it is five hand span see as i told you that we can measure the chart with our hand so sima she measured the length of a chart with her hand span and it is five hand span now see in the picture he is chetan he is measuring the length of the breeze so the breeze is six steps now children you can see here the picture of some children yes or no some are tall and some are short so children this is an activity when you will come to your school we can do this activity we can measure yes or no maybe somebody will tall and somebody will be short so we can do this activity in the class or if you want you can do at home also you can measure your height with your brother or sister and you can find out who is whose height is more and whose is short Okay children, now look at this measuring scale and measuring tape. Another one is meter stick. We are using all these things to measure the length. Now we will measure the things with the weight. See some pictures are given. One is balloon and another one is wooden plank, water bottle, bamboo basket and weight. All the things have different shape and size. Yes or no children? By looking we can say the shape and size of the object. So, you take one thing in your hand, then put it down. Then again, take another thing and put it down. So, you do it with all the things, one by one. Then you will notice that some object is lighter in weight and some object is heavier. 
in wet okay children now look at this picture above picture these are some instrument for measuring the weight one is bathroom scale another is kitchen balance then another is weighting balance so these are the different instrument for measuring the weight now we can find out which objects are heavier and which are lighter with the help of this instrument then second picture is beam balance and another one is mass scale okay children now you see the one boy and one girl is playing seesaw which is heavier who is heavier and who is lighter here ritika or ishang see ishang is heavier or ritika is heavier so they are playing seesaw then you can see here one beam balance watermelon and carrot is waiting here so which one is heavier watermelon is heavier than the carrot okay children some mass is given here to compare to weight see one is wooden block another is cotton wool so which one will be heavier children obviously wooden block will heavier than the cotton wool then second you see wooden blocks and plastic bottles so plastic bottles empty plastic bottles will be lighter than the wooden blocks now third you see oranges and books so we can't say which one is heavier so until and unless we will not weigh oranges and a books now next is an empty plastic bottle and a book so we can say that empty plastic bottle is lighter than a book now again next is cotton wool and empty plastic bottle this is also difficult to tell which one is heavier or which one is lighter so to tell this one we need a beam balance to weight both the object now next is measuring liquid see children we use a glass a mug a can a pot or a tank to store a liquid like water or milk see suppose you take a mug full of milk in the morning your mother drinks a glass full of water your father carries a bottle of water to his office sometimes your mother stores water in a pot or in a can so do you think all these contain equal quantity of liquid your answer will be no you see a mug contain a small quantity of milk while a bottle contain more quantity of milk or water see by looking at the picture we can compare yes or no glass is containing more water or milk comparing to the mug and now you see can and glass can is bigger than the glass so can will contain more liquid than the glass and next picture is pot pot is again bigger than the can so the pot will contain more water than the can and the last picture is tank which is here among all the all the container the tank is the large so the tank will contain large quantity of water So children that's all about the measurement
and i hope you all understood so children we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye